there was a huge player out in Hollywood. Like, they've got all these heads of the studios, Paramount and Universal and MGM and United Artists. And sometimes, like, if John Wayne or The Rock get the push, it's all business. And then sometimes they wanted to kind of, like, take you under their wings. So I had made several of these little low-budget movies with New Line Cinema, Suburban Commando, Mr. Nanny, No Holds Barred. Made them for two, three million dollars. And then they made, like, 20, 30 million bucks overseas. Back in the day, that was a lot of money. And all of a sudden, this big movie producer, he kind of, like, fell in love with me. And I was deaf, dumb, and blind, and I was going there trying to get the Hollywood break. And all of a sudden, I showed up late one time to a screening. He pulled me in the back room, and he goes, hey, what's wrong with you? How, how come you disrespect me? You're my boy now. Are you going to do what I say? But it was heavier than that, bro. I mean, he was wanting me to get down and dirty with him. When I put the brakes on it, I said, brother, you know, that's not my deal. Not into the strictly dickly stuff. Thank you very much, brother, but I'm going back to professional wrestling. That was pretty much it for me. And I was healthy. I was young. You know, Stallone, Arnold, everybody was rocking with the action stuff. I could have had that opportunity, but that wasn't my deal.